Today I will discuss about why amblyopia is more common in hyperopia than myopia. Amblyopia is a partial loss of sight in one or both eyes caused by abnormal visual development secondary to abnormal visual stimulation in the absence of ophthalmoscopic or other marked objective sign. The most common cause of abnormal visual stimulation that is blurred vision that leads to amblyopia is a refractive error. It is found that prevalence of amblyopia is more common in hyperopia than myopia. Now the question is why does amblyopia more common in hyperopia? Let's see in the next slide. Don't forget to download our app Optometry Notes and MCQs that provides notes and MCQs at lowest price and live support from me and my team. The abnormal visual stimulation that leads to amblyopia is blurred visual equity. Patient with moderate to high hyperopia sees blur at distance as well as near. Near visual equity is more blur than the distance in hyperopic patient. In patient with moderate to high myopia sees clear at near but blur at distance. Near visual equity is clearer as compared to distance in myopic patient. So in myopia as patient is seeing clear at near which prevent development of amblyopia but in hyperopia patient sees blur at near as well as distance that increase the risk of amblyopia. Now the question is why hyperopic sees blur at near as well as distance? Let's see in the next slide. Let's take an example. A patient is having hyperopia of plus 5 diopter. Now without correction the rays coming from infinity will focus behind the retina. In small amount of hyperopia, eyes accommodate and bring the rays back on the retina and patient can see clear. But in moderate to high hyperopia, amplitude of accommodation is not enough to bring the rays back on the retina due to which rays focus behind the retina and patient sees blur. Suppose patient can induce 3 diopter of accommodation which bring the rays closer to retina somewhere here. But as rays still focus behind the retina, patient will see blur at distance that is equal to plus 2 diopter. Now if we bring the image at 40 cm, to see the object normally patient will need 100 divided by 40 or 2.5 diopter. But as patient is having hyperopia of plus 5 diopter, he will be needed 2.5 plus 5 or 7.5 diopter of accommodation to see that object at 40 cm. As patient is able to induce accommodation of 3 diopter, so with the help of 3 diopter accommodation, rays will shift towards the retina somewhere here a bit closer to retina, but as the rays still focus behind the retina, patient will see blur at near that is equal to plus 4.5 diopter. Plus 4.5 diopter blur at near is more blur than plus 2 diopter blur at distance. So patient with moderate to high hyperopia sees blur both at distance as well as near or sees more blur at near than distance that increase the risk of developing amblyopia. That's why prevalence of amblyopia is more in hyperopia than myopia. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.